Hello and welcome to how to import users from Active Directory to Remedy Force using an LDAP Pentaho package. Let's check the list of prerequisites. We need a Pentaho data integration version 7.1, Java runtime environment 1.8, the Remedy Force LDAP 2.0 with permission sets package, a Windows server with Active Directory, and a Remedy Force administrator username, password, and security token. The links to download the Pentaho data integration, the Java runtime environment, and the Remedy Force LDAP package will be located at the video's description. If you need any help to get the, your security token, you can console the video on the BMC Remedy Force YouTube channel. Let's begin and make sure you already have the Pentaho installed on your server and the package of loader on your server as well. So here's my Windows server. And first we need to extract the LDAP package folder. After the extract has finished, right click on the folder, hit on properties, and remove the read only property on this folder. Hit on apply and select apply changes to this folder and subfolders and files. Click on OK. After you have installed the, Pent the Pentaho data integration, go to the Pentaho data integration folder. Look for the spoon.bat file. Right click and run as administrator. This will open the Pentaho data integration tool. In this case, I am using the version 7.0, which is also compatible with this package. If you have any trouble installing the Pentaho data integration tool, you can check the video on the BMC Remedy Force YouTube channel. Now we go into file, open, and we browse the package we just unzip and we open the transfer LDAP info KJV. This is the main job on the, pen, on the Pentaho LDAP package for Remedy Force. So what we need to do is to set up everything, every connection between your Active Directory and Remedy Force. So we go ahead into the first step, transfer lookup Excel export, right click and open reference object. Here, you should see a bunch of Salesforce input steps. Each one, it's a connection and a query to your Remedy Force. Double click on the first one. And we need to type the username and password. If you are connecting to a sandbox, make sure you replace this. Remember that Sandbox connects to test.salesforce.com instead of login.salesforce.com. Also, make sure your password is followed by your security token. Here's a sample of how the security token and password should look like. Your username, which is your username that you have on Remedy Force, and the password is gonna be your password followed by your security token with no spaces. Now we need to test the connection. And we, we are connected now to Salesforce. So let's hit an OK. And after that, hit an OK again. We have to repeat the same procedure for all of this Salesforce input. Make sure you have test the connection on all of them. After you finish with this, you can go ahead and save this job. Now we can close this tab. So let's go ahead into update Salesforce with LDAP user information. Right click, open reference object and transformation. 
double click on LDAP input. This is the step that queries Active Directory to get the list of users to import. Here you will need to introduce your server's hostname, username and password. Make sure this user has all the rights needed to access your Active Directory. Also test the connection here. And we should get this message. So click on OK. The next step is to create a query to get the list of users. Based on your Active Directory structure, create a query where you can cover all the users that you would like to import to Remedy Force. For this demo, I have created a distribution group called Remedy Force Client Dist. And I have added three members to the group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to query this group to get these three users imported into Remedy Force. The attribute I'm going to use is the member of. So my query will look like something like this. If you have any trouble to create a query, we recommend you to contact your Active Directory administrator. Now go back to the Pentaho job and click, double click on create time base LDAP filter string. Out of the box, the job comes with a default query, which is based on timestamps. It checked when was the last time the package run and the current date and looks for an Active Directory for any user changes or new uses created. I will keep using this feature, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the member of attribute from my distribution group on Active Directory and I will append it to this green query. So this variable filter string is the one that we're going to use to query your Active Directory. Now we need to test the query just to verify everything is working. So let's go ahead and test script. Let's set the limit just to one and click on OK. After that, copy the value from the filter string. Click on close, click on OK, and go back to the LDAP input. Here, let's go to the search tab and uncheck the dynamic filter string. Replace the filter string for the value we just copy. Then identify the first daytime field and replace the 2019 for a 1900. What we are doing right now, it's we're telling the Active Directory to get us a list of users between 1900 and today. This is only for test purposes. So let's go ahead and click on preview rows. Click on okay. And Asma's distribution group only has three, three objects or three users. I am only able to see three of them. So this should be different for you. On my case, this is correct. These are the only three users that I would like to import to Remedy Force. So click on close. Go back to dynamic filter string and mark the checkbox. Click on okay. And that's it. So now uh, we already have uh, created our query. So we need to tell now to the package which profile, permission set, and account we need to assign to our users. So let's go ahead and double click into dynamic account profile and permission set assignment. 
On this demo, we are importing Remedy Force clients. So I will need to assign Remedy Force service desk client profile and permission set service desk client. You should see a bunch of variables right here. You'll see profile, the role, locale, the language, time zone, permission set, alias, manager name and manager array. You can customize this script to assign multiple languages, time zones, profiles and roles depending on Active Directory attributes. For now, I will stick with the defaults and I will use the OSI service desk client profile. I will leave the language as English US and the time zone as America Los Angeles. Permission set service desk client as well. Also, below you will find some samples of scripts that may work for you. As mentioned, it, you can assign different accounts and profiles based on Active Directory attributes. Example here is assigning an, a specific account and profile depending on the user principal name. Below is one example of assigning an account and a profile based on a OU. And the same for a CN. The only one I'm going to grab from here is this one, which enables or disables users and remedy force depending on the Active Directory state. So I'm going to paste it right here, or you can just uncomment. Now click on OK and make sure we save this job. Now let's go to the self first observe step on the same job. And we need to set up the same thing, username, password, follow it by security token. Always make sure to test the connection. Save again the job. And now we can close this step. We need to add an additional username and password. So we need to go to assign accounts to users and do the same thing on Salesforce update and Salesforce insert. Make sure to test the connection. And save the job. Our next step is to go to assign permission sets to new users. Right click, transformation. And again, introduce the username and password from Remedy Force. Make sure to save the job and go back to the main job. The next one is update manager information. And 
here we just have one. Click on OK and save the job. Last but not least, assign Remedy Force license. Right click, transformation, copy and paste your username and password, test the connection. Click on OK and save the job. Now that we have everything in place, we can go ahead and run the job. Click and run and run again. Let's wait until the job finish. So the package has finished. And if I see the logs, I will find a couple of errors here. For this demo, I don't have any manager assigned to my users. So that's why the update manager information step failed. If you don't want to assign the manager information or for some reason you don't have a manager to assign, you can disable this particular step by clicking on the green arrow here and saving the job. But let's go ahead and check on our remedy force if we got our three users created. Log into your remedy force, go to the setup menu. Manage users, users, and here we're able to see our three users. Just to verify they got the right permission set and profile, this one got services client, permission set a services client. and language as English, locale as English, United States. So that means the package populated these fields correctly. If we check the created by, it will be the username that we use on the Pentaho package. And the date, as you can see, it's for today. So this is all for today's video. If you would like, there is a way to schedule the Pentaho job to run daily. You may find the video on the BMC Remedy Force YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.